Cool. Hello, hello. We're live again. I mean, we're we've continued being live. Hello. We're back okay. with the front Crime Brothers. Uh, Connor, I can only see yes. your forehead basically. Oh, <laughs> I was slouching. Yo. Just draw a face on your forehead, and we'll never know. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, David. You we both know I mean, I'm his not. Forward is, was also like the bottom of the screen, so <laughs> um, fair. That's also a problem. But all right, we're back. So let's um let's go see what Siegfried has been up to. <laughs> yeah. Um, what have you been up to, Siegfried? Oh uh, well, uh, I just turned one of my meerkat fens into solid gold. And Did it alive. live? No, he he lived. Okay, I'm impressed. He he's alive and scampering about. He doesn't have a name yet. All right, let's do the real thing. Me, no me, me, Manners, and Pookie are just chilling, chilling. His name is Manners. The villain? No, no, Na Nanners is the oh, right. Manners, right? Friend okay. with me right now. I was going to experiment with him, but I fell in love with his with his personality. So oh, I used okay. one of the many ones that you conveniently had already gotten and for yeah. me because I had asked you at one point to do what. To give me a bunch of meerkats, that was the price to pay, and you're like, "Oh, okay, you're weird." I don't, I don't remember that. You, you, you don't have. I got you goats. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it already happened. He, he already used the meerkats to, to experiment on. So. Oh, one oh I got him meerkats. Yeah. I didn't yeah. even. Yep. Oh, I thought he just had those. All right. No, no, like oh, no, other I, meerkats. I have them, but he doesn't want to experiment on his meerkats. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, the ladies are very impressed, and they're like, oh, man. Oh, I'm sure that's how that works, right? Right? I mean, kind of. <laughs> what are, what are mean? Wrong answer, Caleb. Like, he, he uh, literally just made a meerkat into a solid gold living being. Uh, I mean, I guess if there's financial stability, it's gold alchemy, but still. <laughs> <laughs> Until everyone's a gold alchemist, then... Then no I, one's a gold no alchemist. One's... <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. But everyone's right. super. No one will Nobody's be. Super. Yeah. So what are their names again? I always forget. I'm gonna write oh, them the down. ladies. Yeah. Um. <laughs> How old is your character? What? How old is your character? Uh, I'm only forty-eight. Uh, okay. Uh, you Yuvana is the doctor. Is the surgeon. And, um, uh, wait, what? Oh, Ludwitta is the, the witch wife. So that's Ludwitta. I don't wait, she hangs out with you now? Didn't she hate you a second ago? She did, I mean, yeah, she, Lud ago? Ludwitta's basically just here for, to, like, learn about magic, and then, oh. yeah, she doesn't actually like Siegfried. Yeah. Yeah. Siegfried <laughs> just, like, offered her power, so. Oh. Yeah, so she's like uh, your other apprentice. Yeah, <laughs> I actually got her magic powers. Uh huh. Yeah, actually, that happened. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, in lore, you can't actually do that, right? She just got lucky. I mean, yeah. I mean, they they basically put her through a bunch of trials that like could, to test it. Yeah, to, yeah. to try mm -hmm. to draw it out in her. Yeah. Mm hmm. So I'm, I'm sure that like becoming your apprentice was a very, very strong change in her life. So maybe that was the thing that that triggered. <laughs> She got a deeds point. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, humility. <laughs> nope. Oh, no. I'm did gonna go not with that was probably not Yeah. <laughs> that did not happen. Um, Anyways, sorry. But yeah, so, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, they're, they're, like, standing there, right? Like, after, um, the moment after you just, like, made the solid living old meerkat, and then a guard rushes, or a guard, like, rushes by your door, right? And, and you hear, like, Something something went on in the banquet hall, and looked like rushing by you, but like they, they they weren't talking to you; they're like talking to each other. These two guards that were outside. And what is that that has happened that you must uh, interrupt my experiments? I mean, the doors closed. Like they, they, they these two were. He was like, just, just running past. He oh. was running past the doors. I thought, I thought they this. came came no. for help. Okay, no. from the dock. Okay. Oh. I mean, that probably wouldn't have been a bad idea, but... <laughs> <Yeah>. uh. <laughs> well, uh, he pays us, so we should go, see, we should go, uh, <laughs> check it out. As good as argument as any. 
Um, yeah, I mean, fair. so Laduetta looks at you and she and and says, uh, "He doesn't pay me." I'm sorry. Correct. Uh, I mean, how do you say that exactly? Like, do you actually say it like that? Yeah, <laughs> and I'm, I'm, actually, actually denied. I'm actually sorry. <laughs> Yeah, so she. I like, mean, it, I she, pay you, so you should be paying her, right? You're a manager. Someone, someone as talented as you should be should be paid handsomely. Yeah, so she frowns at first, and then she like looks at you intently. And she says, "Yes, I think so. I think <laughs> I should demand wages for my services from you, Siegfried. I mean, you just said Caspian pays you." And as your apprentice, I should be entitled to some of those funds, shouldn't I? And Yvonne just kind of like starts to step back like, ah, I'm going to stay out of this. I, I point to the meerkats. I'm like, uh, help yourself. That's my payment. <laughs> 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 uh, she kind of like looks at it. gum and meerkats. Yeah. <laughs> she looks at it and she looks back at you and she says, no one will accept this in payment, Siegfried. And then I point Maybe. to the table and, um... <laughs> Um, what, what, what do you think that's worth? The table? The, the meerkat. The table the meerkat's on. The gold one. The gold table or the gold meerkat? No, the gold meerkat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what you were pointing at, right? That's what you were no, pointing no, at no. What were you pointing at before, then? I was pointing at the, the box of, of multiple meerkats. Oh, He's yeah. Well, the then, she, then she definitely <laughs> said the same thing. Um, yeah. But... Yeah, so you you say like you know yeah you can take that and yeah and and she shakes her head and she says no no one will take a live meerkat that is, even if it is made of gold. What? That's not. <laughs> I'd take a live. Meerkat I mean, like she 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 she's not gonna <laughs> risk kidding. it, right? Like she's not gonna she yeah. like go to the market and be like, hey, I have a solid gold meerkat that's like alive, <laughs> right? Yeah. And she wants something a little bit more reliable. Just kill it and then. She'll... <laughs> So let's think yeah. of the statue. Yeah, she raises her eyebrow, I guess, and she says, what, you want me to, like, kill it then? And what? like, How dare you? <laughs> we just spent hours creating that. <laughs> well, then, Siegfried, how about I take your wages and you can get the le the solid gold meerkat? Um, sure. I have yet to be paid until I actually, you know, make him gold, but... <laughs> yeah. All right, so we have an accord, then. I will get your entire payment... For working with Caspian, and you will get all of the solid gold meerkats that you want. What? The entire payment. <laughs> that's that's uh, that's fifty fifty. <laughs> she she she's like looking at you intently, and then she says, "Done." <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. And Yvonne is like, "Huh? I wonder how much I'm getting paid." I gave you magic. <laughs> no, this is Yuvana, the the oh. sur surgeon. What? Wait, is is this picture you pulled up? Lou did is that the? Was, is wasn't that the boy I was talking to the whole time? <sighs> no, no, Jared. <laughs> Gosh, you were talking to Luduetta. You were talking to the witch wife. I pictured her as oh. so much older and so much uglier. Holy cow! <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, that, yeah, entire, <laughs> that entire conversation was with the apprentice. Oh, I would have talked. <laughs> I'm like, I paid you with magic. <laughs> no, you, you could say that, right? You could be like, wait a second, no, I paid you with magic. I, I paid for the I gave you magic. <laughs> she, she, okay, make, make a make a test. <laughs> oh boy, what would that oh. be? I mean, probably persuasion. Um, yeah, yeah. Dang it! I don't have that. Well, what's the ab? Uh, the abbers are will. Um, so... I mean, if you wait to make a deal with her until you come find me, I can just haggle to the moon and back, and it'll Barab, be okay. Rob is five. Then, I mean, I may, may as may as well open get my persuasion opened. Fair. Oh, oh. Well. I just, I just clicked really quick. It doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, so you definitely fail. Um, uh, unfortunately, though, because, you know, again, the ob is 5, and so it because it's untrained, it doubles to 10, um, yeah. which means that you do not get a bubble on Persuasion, but rather 
Uh, oh no, I guess you do. No, never mind. You do. All right. I just wanted to make, I wanted to make sure because if it, if it wasn't if it didn't count as routine test before being doubled, then um then it it, w it wouldn't have been a bubble. It would have been um a test on will. But yeah, it it's it is routine, so it counts as. Okay. Okay. I was as a bubble. Yep. I just want to make I'll sure. Take, I'll take either. <laughs> I could use some difficult will challenges. Right, exactly. Yeah. So I just want to double check. Uh, yeah. So you got you got our decision. Yeah, but she she just like looks at you and shakes her head. She says, "Nope, fifty fifty. That's what you said, mm. right? Right, Yuvana, you heard him. Fifty fifty. And she's like, "I'm staying out of this. I don't. Eh, it's fine. Money money has little meaning when you can make gold out of just about anything. It's everything, everything you touch." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, so you do you want to actually go check out what's happening? I mean, yeah. Okay, I mean, Yuvana just kind of like opts to stay here, and she says, I mean, I'll look after the solid gold meerkat, I guess. Oh, no, I'm bringing them with. <laughs> oh, really? You're just like, going to grab them? Meerkats, to me. <laughs> <laughs> meerkats, assemble. Yeah, assemble. So, yeah, so I mean, uh, it's just Nanners who's with you, right? Of the other, like the... Oh, uh, I have Nanners, Pookie, and the, the now gold one. Right, yeah, so you have, obviously you have Pookie, yeah. Um, so yeah, Nanners and Pookie come with you. Yeah, they they assemble. Um, so you have Pookie with his his little little. Um, the gold one's not gonna come with. Was it uh, shoes? Pookie has shoes? He yeah, has Pookie sneak. has shoes, and then <laughs> um, Nanners has a scarf. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I thought these were people that you said had a scarf, and I was yeah, I know. That's, we, we weren't gonna say anything because it was funnier when yeah. you thought it was. Different. I was like, why does he just have a scarf? <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing over there, CC? <laughs> He just has a man uh, in his closet that's just wearing a scarf. Yeah, not in my town, you don't. <laughs> so, what should I name the gold one? Uh, Leonidas. I don't know. I'm gonna do it. Alright. In, uh, in you mean, near, you mean near... Midas? Uh, Leah Midas. Leah Midas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I mean, oh, that, that pun can't work in this world at all. Ah, I mean, who cares? <laughs> yeah. So uh, in Meerkat speak, I talk to the gold one. I'm like, I doubt to proclaim you, Leonidas. Come, come hither. Uh, it kind of just like looks at you and like. Frowns. I'm better than you. I made out of gold. <laughs> yeah, it just seems confused. It's like, why? Pookie, help me out here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so Pookie like explains. He he starts like gibbering and like meow, 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 starts like explaining this whole situation to the uh, to the gold mirror cat, and then gold mirror cat like nods and he's like, "Right, right, of course. Yes, the master. We must serve the master." <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, nice. And then you need uh, not to pay them. I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah, and then they uh, so you you're, you you uh, Pookie like you know is up on your on your shoulder, and then Nanners and uh, and uh, Leonidas are behind, coming like crawling or. Uh, running behind you um yeah and Luduetta comes with you obviously then yeah Yuvana just like opts to stay here and, and like mm -hmm. clean up from the operation and like yeah and b before I leave I, I look to Yvonne I'm like you did good today she just nods and she's like I'm not sure how much I did to help exactly um but uh you're welcome all the same all right and then, then, then I, I go yeah. Okay. So you you run away. So are you like doing this like quickly, just like running? Yeah. Um, okay. So, Caspian, what are you doing in uh, in the room um, when when Siegfried arrives? Um. So this is. Like, I mean, how does he get in? All the doors are like blockaded, aren't they? Or like locked? Oh yeah. Sure. Sure. So I mean, what are you doing when Siegfried gets to the outside of the door? <laughs> I mean, we I think we pretty much have everybody lined up. Well, okay. It depends on. I mean, at this point, uh, has. Caspian come back claiming to have found the person who You mean Gendarius? Gendarius? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, mean, I guess that's, that probably, that's probably what starts the scene. So we'll, we'll have Kentarius enter okay. first, and then Siegfried will enter. Um, so mm -hmm. yeah, Kentarius, how do you enter back here, you know, with the... Uh... Like a boss. <laughs> Are you dipping sauce? What? Come what? on, man. Come <laughs> on, man. You know sauce hasn't been invented yet. What are you talking about? <laughs> 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 uh... Um, I mean, I just, I'm just, like, carrying her over my shoulder. I just walk in, like, half burnt, half burnt alive, and I'm just like, da, 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 here comes the boom! You know, <laughs> kind of stuff. And I just, like, drop her at your feet, uh, Caspian. I, I just, I just, like, I'm not doing anything else. I'm not, I don't okay. look at, like, anybody else. I just go straight to you. And I just, All like, right. 
feet. And I'm just like, yeah, I got the guy. I got the gal who did it. Do you say that? Yeah. Or do you just, okay. Um, yeah. So I look up at you and I mean, I probably look way more angry at you than I actually am because I'm just in general really mad. So yeah, I look up and like glare at you basically. And, uh, um, yeah, I, I point down at her and say, uh, you are aware this is one of my wives, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> You're saying that she definitely. tried to poison me and all of my other wives. This is definitely the woman that, the woman that did it. Uh, yeah. and I can tell she's not dead, right? I mean, she's breathing. She's breathing. Yeah. Okay. Um, then, uh, yeah, I think I just reach over to a glass of wine that's on the table or whatever, and like... Well, I don't know. I guess it depends on how much I believe you. Can I make a test to, like, see if I think he's telling the truth? Uh, yeah. I mean, so I guess it would really be, um, uh, Cantarius making, like, a, a ugly truth, maybe? Well, I mean, like, I want to know if I think he's telling the truth or not, right? Like, he is. So he doesn't need to make a... I don't think he needs to make a role, does Well, I mean, you need, I... what's really happening here, right, is Cantarius is trying to convince you that this is the Oh, case. that's fair. I right. see what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Cantarius, um, it, de it depends on the way you're coming about it, but I'm assuming this is ugly truth, right? Where you're just like, this is how it is. Like it or That's not, it she did like, it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And like you lay out, so, this, you lay out the facts, right? You're like, she, she, you know, yeah. she ran out. Like she was trying to burn me alive. She obviously has magic. Yeah. Yeah, and I probably reacted to that too. I'm like, you're telling me my wife has magic, and I didn't know it. <laughs> and like, so this is the thing, right? Like, you, you obviously, I'm sure, have some of your wives that do have magic, but you, oh, I'm sure, yeah. Um, this, this, this wife is named Karimi, and you know for like, you, you have no idea that she had magic. Okay, then yeah, I say that. I, mean, I probably say what I originally said because I don't want to give away that I have wives that have magic. Right. But uh. Right. Yeah. Also, because I didn't know that until five seconds ago, but you know. I mean, thing. there'd be no like have you have fifty wives, right? Like, there's no I way that you if you've been gathering them for their skills, right? There's at least one that has magical. Abilities. Fair, yeah. Um. Ah, uh, yeah. So make a ugly truth, Connor. Um, I'm gonna fork in oratory. Is that sound okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Think so. Are and, you like presenting this to everybody in the room? Is that what's happening? I think so. Right? Like, I mean, I mean no one else is yeah. doing anything. <laughs> Right, yeah, I mean, they're all getting lined up and, like, exactly right. and stuff. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so. I mean, is there, I, don't, I, I can't, uh, there's nothing else I can fork in, but, like, why, like, how hard is this, and why is it hard? Uh, I mean, it's, it's an ugly truth, um, so it's, right. it's based on the, the uh, comp complexity of the truth. Do I get, um, um, so up do I get, up to? Yep. Do I get bonuses for the fact that I'm, like, literally, like, well, I guess that is a part of it being a truth. Because I mean, like, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously singed. Yeah, I don't think you get any advantage dice for that necessarily, but and like the soldiers that were there. No one else saw it. It was just that one soldier. He's dead because he got stabbed. Right. Yeah. But other soldiers saw that she ran off. Right. Mm -mm, that, that nope. There were some. There were some. No, not even the guy who followed her knew. You no, remember? Right? You had only to tell you had to tell him. Right. No, but yeah. soldiers, soldiers came over to block off the entrance. It wasn't just one guy, right? Right, but. He... Well, no, the one no, guy that came to that door one, didn't even know happened, that she left. Yeah, what happened was, was one guy came guy. Okay. in that moment. Door, yeah. One guy came over, <laughs> said, and it was like, uh, no, no one leaves. And you were like, "There's a person," and he looked out the window or looked out the door, and he's like, "Oh, there is," and he ran after them, and then you okay. ran after him. That was what happened. Oh wow! But I mean, ugly truth is pretty easy to get, That's, isn't it? Yeah, but he failed. <laughs> uh, well, he has no what was sixes. the ugly truth difficulty? That was two. Oh, and you failed. Yeah. Oh gosh! <laughs> uh, Why? I mean, I think it probably comes down to right, like Caspian, like you're you're just too too I, to the max, like really annoyed and just yeah. Like, plus, I mean, you're telling me a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense to me because yeah. I know her and I know she doesn't have magic and I know theoretically, or presumably, I know she wouldn't murder, try to murder me, right? Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't make sense to you, like I mean, as far as you like, like no, none of your wives have ever tried to like like betray you or anything right yeah and i mean the other thing is that he doesn't know that they're assassin wives and i know he doesn't know that so probably assuming that's one of the reasons he you know, like maybe a normal wife that didn't have anything except like money to gain from me might have that but obviously there's more to them than he knows so yeah i think i'm like listen there's a lot more here than you understand i don't believe that my wife tried to kill me for more reasons than you know now how does she get did you do this and i just 
gesture her unconscious. <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> you just say that? Connor, this is this is the game. This is this is Burning Wheel. Um or this is the Pro and Adi Crow Inquisitors, right? This has been the campaign. Cantarius never has good luck. Literally, ever. Literally I I I capture the bad guy. I lay her at your feet and I tell a hundred percent. Hey bro. The truth. I'm not the one that failed the roll. Okay. I, I, <laughs> Don't get mad at me. I didn't fail the roll. Okay. Um I've never played a more like straightforward, honest, like I know, right? <laughs> I mean, shouldn't that tell you something about the world? <laughs> yeah. Burning Wheel's trying to teach you a lesson. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, do, does Cantarius have anything to say in the initial moment, or is he just like dumbfounded? I, I honestly, well, he's dumbfounded. Uh -huh. I also asked I, you if it, if you did it, right? So did what? I gestured like, to her and like, did you do this? Like, oh. did you knock my wife out? <laughs> did you say I mean, that? Yeah, he explained yeah, it. I mean, he explained it in the story, right? Like, he he explained the whole oh, thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah I, I, like, tell you exactly what happened. I, I tell you exactly. Like, he, he, right. that was his ugly truth. He just laid out the entire yeah, yeah. thing. Yeah, okay. Happened. So then I say, um, see, I think I just sigh after I say what I said previously. I'm like, uh, and the guard that's the Marasi that's chased her and she killed, where is he? Um, I, I left the body there. I, I, he's dead. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Well, he's dead. I, I, but I, I already told you that. But like, I left the body there because you know. Right. Oh, I mean, did you tell me that he was right outside? Is, is that part of your story? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then I, yeah, I just kind of sigh and I, I um, look over to Kedris probably if he's still in, <laughs> like, shape to do anything. Uh, uh Kasim, uh, you mean? Kedris. Kadras is the guy that killed Dalis's uh, family in no, Savage I know Tide. There, there's a Kedris in something. I think it's one of my books. I don't know. I'm losing my mind. Um, yeah, Kasim. Okay. Uh, uh, it's fair. Um, it's fine. Like, there's a million yeah. NPCs in this game. And it's also been a while. Oh, yeah. So, mm -hmm. uh, assuming Kasim is still in, you know, functional yeah. sorts, yeah, he's fine. I'm like, make sure nobody leaves. And then I, yeah. like, alright, show he me this. Grimly. Yeah. Show me the corpse, and then I walk out with you. And I think I, I probably gesture to... Well, I was going to say I gestured to my bodyguard, but that would be... Ulrich, and he's not here. Uh, so, um... Yeah, I well, probably we're, also... Right, we were just going to say that Ulrich, like, got knocked unconscious from the poison, but he's yeah, not... Yeah, I've also die. sent people to attend to him, which is weird because he's probably the last person that would have actually been knocked. I don't even think it could hurt him, or, like... I, I think we did decide we did figure that out it, it wouldn't have, well, it wouldn't have killed him because like, that's the thing it was deadly that's poison was. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. so obviously he did he did drink it but it he's so so basically right that the story is he literally just straight drank it ah, but didn't was, like yeah. have anything happen he's like cool except for, like, Here, give me yours huh. yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> drinking everybody else all right yeah um and i think it's at that right, moment seek free that you get to the you get to the door um but again it's it's mm. closed um, yeah so the well we probably opened the door and I'm like, okay, so you open the door and, and then, yeah, Siegfried and we do it our yeah. like right outside it. Uh, yeah, I just raise my eyebrow at you and I'm, I look terrible. Like there's sweat and blood and coming out of my mouth and there's some puke and saliva and my hair is short, but it's kind of like messed up. And my, my coat's probably torn because, uh, Quinn like tackled me. And yeah, I don't look so hot. I mean, I look hot. I don't look healthy. Yeah. <laughs> just I look around, I'm like, I've been gone for two days. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I just, I just glare. You know, like yes, you have, and we've been looking for you, but I don't have time for this. And I, like, push past to like go find the corpse. Is the corpse dead or is it still sputtering? Uh, no, yeah, it's definitely dead. You passed this corpse on the way, um, down yeah. the hallway. Um, yes, he's just, it's just one of the Morassi, just kind of like dead and with the bleeding out of his neck. I try to revive him. Bring him back. Uh, I mean, okay, so this is a retroactive thing we could do. Um, yeah, Siegfried, if you want to, like, because you have a thing, always experiment on the wounded, right? And so you pass this guy. Um, yeah, do you want to, like, bring him back to life somehow? <gasps> I'm <Yes>. sorry, what? <laughs> I mean, not, like, actually bring him back to life, right? But you have magic that allows you to heal oh, like people. Oh, um, Or you could do that, right? You could make a, you could make a <laughs> zombie, right? <laughs> I'm gonna try. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, what is your intent here? What are you actually gonna try to do? 
Well, I'm going to try to revive him. Okay. In whatever form that would be, to bring life to this body, whether or not it's the same or yeah, person so you, or not, you can do I, the, I don't know. You can do the physical discipline, yeah, and and your intent is to you know bring him back to life, right? Um, yeah. Revive him, basically. Oh boy, this is, this is gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah so like let's go let's flash back and, and have that scene right so siegfried um you 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 guys are rounding the hallway you're rounding a corner and come to this hallway you guys are like running to try to get there um and uh yeah you guys you just see this guy bleeding out on on the ground um and like i mean cantares i don't think he like was like actually like legitimately dead and gone but he was oh, really? mortally wounded right like he was you oh, knew that he was gonna die yeah but you probably didn't necessarily know. He probably was not moving any of this. Basically, what I, cuts, yeah, so. right. Like basically, what I'm saying is, Siegfried has has gotten there just in the nick of time, where there's like just the barest of life still left in this person, where it's not actually oh, okay. bringing him back I mean, to life. It's just trying to yeah, save okay. him. What happened is she probably stabbed him in the neck with a knife, left it in, so most of the blood didn't come out yet, and he's somehow still right. like. Oh, I kind of wanted him to be dead. I mean, yeah, you, you could say that too. Like either way, it's up to you, Jared. I'm, I'm oh, done with either way. I, I want him to be actually dead. Okay, yeah, sure. And then try to revive him from there. Okay, sure. Is that even possible? Uh, no, it's not. We're like, gonna find it's out. Not, it's not physically possible to bring someone actually back to the, to life, but uh, I mean, he doesn't know that he can try something else, right? Like he can try. He can't bring his the guy's soul back, but he can oh, okay. make it like into a person, right? He could make a Ramus out of this person. Oh, oh maybe. Oh, well, that's terrible. I'm going to soul bind the crap out of this dude. I mean, you don't have that, but <laughs> yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. So I'm going to do the physical discipline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. So, so you you, you you kneel down uh, in front of this guy and like in Ludo. Sorry, just I think like... I have to do substance, right? Or... Uh, yeah, it would be substance. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so, like, Ludueta, like, looks at you, and she's like, what, why are you bothering him? He's dead. Never waste a chance to experiment. <laughs> she just rolls her eyes. Are you going to help or not? <laughs> she, like, kneels, or leans down, and, and, yeah, starts, starts to work with you. Uh, did we, did we roll to see what, what, um discipline she had oh yeah we did she has the uh the influential has... discipline influential yeah yeah all right so i'm going to fork alchemy anatomy astrology oh sorry a link test with astrology right yeah all right alchemy anatomy uh real quick, can fork what's your will astrology. by the way my will is five okay okay where is it okay alchemy anatomy the attribute discipline, because I have to. I'm trying to bring back his attributes since they've atrophied. Yeah, no, that, I mean that's fine. I think it makes sense. You're you're able to uh, fork uh, astrology, right? Is that yeah, how that but works? The, uh, you don't fork it. You would roll it separately, um, because it, it, the uh, die can go either way. So you need to know which die it is. But yeah. oh well, okay. I guess couldn't you just fork it like and keep track of the die? Um. Yes, I guess. You could just say okay. the last the last die on it. Right, yeah. Not yeah. that it matters, I was just curious. Is she trying to influence me, Caleb? <laughs> yeah. So you, you feel I mean you feel a very like strong, just obvious touch on your emotions, but it doesn't actually like sway you at all, right? Like it's just, mm -hmm. it's obvious that she did it, but um and so she tries to like um uh, increase your sense of uh like uh haste, right? Like to get to, to your destination. Um and so yeah, you feel you feel her like tug on your emotions. Hmm. Nice try, but uh, yes, you see pales as you more, look at her. A little more subtle next time, but I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> and she looks like visibly like sick so there's to her stomach at that. <laughs> she does not want you to be proud of her. <laughs> oh, why not? <laughs> because you're you. <laughs> but I'm great. <laughs> and she's also her. <laughs> oh. Is she okay. Great? What? Is she great? No. Uh, <laughs> she's definitely not great. We've already established this. Remember, she's she, a horrible person. She's a very horrible person. Her and her husband. Yeah. Is he still alive? I keep getting yeah, surprised. He's, just in the camp. he's not dead. He's just kind of a wimp. <laughs> oh, okay. 
I mean, I beat him without 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 moving. Yeah. Well, he, you electrocuted him. To he be fair. somehow he somehow got out of going with Iris, even though he's part of Iris's like strong clan thing. He oh. he like ha- like pretended to get sick or something, so he he didn't go. Gosh. That's funny. Yeah. So your intent is to bring this guy back to a semblance of life. Yes. Um, I think the ob on that is going to be nine. Okay. And uh, what does she bring into the table? Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, um, yeah. She's bringing the gold uh, gold meerkat to the table. <laughs> <laughs> um, She's going to fork in, or she's going to help you with... Um, the nine disciplines wise, so she's okay. gonna like help you with a little like advice here and there, like of random tidbits that she knows about about this pro- these sorts of things. And what are what are Pookie and Nanners bringing to the table? Nothing. They are mere cats. <laughs> they meow. At they you. they do not have skills. All right. So the standard uh, fifteen modifiers then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think o- you mean the standard nine. stupid modifiers. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. Uh, and the Abba's nine? Yep. That's great. What? Fails? That was a bad roll. How? Yay! Uh, wow, my life. <laughs> so, because it's magical, you can spend a fate to reroll one of your fail dice. Do I have a call on trait? You do Wait, not. Did you open end it automatically? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's oh. yeah. Okay. All right. A call on trait for magic? Oh, that would be legit. That would be horrible. You need that. I'm going to vote trait, trait vote that onto you legacy. before you do this to me. <laughs> No, tainted tainted legacy is not a call on for magic. I mean, that sounds pretty magical call on to me. I mean, but it's it's a die trade. It's not magical. Oh, he, he gets other right. things from that. Okay. Yeah. Do you have, um, do you have any call on traits? I, I feel like I you have a call on trait, right? Maybe. maybe I still need to roll astrology though. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, oh yeah, you don't have no call on traits. You just have a bunch of die traits. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So go ahead and just roll a roll a d six. Um, and if this this is, goes it gets a one, then you uh, roll it again. And if it's a, not a success, then you take away one success instead of succeeding. Dang yeah, it! So so nothing. All right. Um. Yeah, you can spend a fate to re-roll a traitor. Yeah. That was like a Connor level roll there. Holy oh. crap! It was. <laughs> Ouch. I had eighteen dice. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's pretty bad. So this is the thing, Connor. We just need to if, if you're if you're worried about this, we just need to play a game where failure is not like constant. We need to play fate. Uh-huh. That's what you're telling me. Yeah, we need to play fate no, or uh, not, Dungeons and Dragons. Fine. Guys, it's fine. It's just oh no. If we play Dungeons and Dragons, Connor will lose so many characters. That's true, actually. <laughs> no, at, at, for, until we get past first level. Right, because right, that's the thing, right? Like if we if we were gonna play Dungeons and Dragons again, we would go like hardcore level, like. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing is, uh, low level D and D is just a meat grinder. So yeah, um, you got like you got one success, seek for you. But do I get an extra? Enough. Do I get an extra dice for my surgery kit? No. Okay, never mind. If you had mentioned that beforehand, I could have given you an advantage die, but <laughs> uh, it's, you can't yeah. you can't keep adding die after the after the fact. Gotcha. So I mean, you get almost there. What are you trying to do? I forgot. I'm trying to revive him from bring him back to the dead. Oh, that's right. Darn it. Form or another. So, I you succeeded that. Yeah, I mean, I think what happens, obvious, obviously, is you, you, you literally create um, a World War Z zombie. Um, oh, good. Oh, and goodness. right, this and so a very interesting. So, night. so Siegfried, um, what, what does it look like when what you're like? Day. What does it look like when you try to do this? Oh, oh I, I slowly try to. To heal, all, I heal all the uh, external wounds first. And right, right. Try to uh, craft what I assume the essence of a soul would be. <laughs> right, of course, huh. yeah. Nah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it doesn't wonder, work. It um, also, roll a, d- roll a d6, <laughs> um, Siegfried, for your magic. Ooh. Remember to, to see uh, if you get have to make a test. Roll a six. Um, what is that? Is it's whatever the, your the last speed. stat is. That was a good thing. That was where you didn't have to. Yeah. Like... So go ahead and roll roll a speed test. Ob nine. <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> yeah. Remember? Wait, but I thought I thought if you rolled a six, that was a stat he didn't have to worry. About. No, no, it's uh, one. It's, it's one. one. 
because it's just oh, an oh, order, okay. an order it, uh, on the character mm-hmm. seat. So perception is is for his first. Okay. Perception. Oh yeah, because I would do speed. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> Crap! I forgot about that. Oh, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> surprise! Surprise! You failed. Um, you marked that challenging test on your speed. Woo. Um, but yeah, so your your speed is taxed. Um that many points <laughs> i think it is right like i think that's oh, how so you it, die is it, isn't that how I'm it dead. works like give me give me a second let me let me double check this what let's check on sorcery um what like the taxing <laughs> i've intentionally like never read the magic sections in this book so sorry i can't i think i know. died <laughs> yeah i think you did too my guys he just takes over your soul um yep subtract the margin of failure from his fort Literally uh, from, from your whatever your stat is in this case um so that's at minus seven so it goes to zero um if a sorcerer's uh stat is reduced below zero uh, he has overtaxed himself his body is overloaded with the power of the spell for each point his his stat bolt drops below zero he takes physical damage equal to the obstacle of the spell in pips on the grayscale if multiple dice You're are lost on the, the pips gray scale? Are isn't that an instant kill uh, Any damage on gray skills automatically over the maximum black wound. Let let me look at this. No, no, no. It's um. Let me see. Ah, okay. I'm looking at the the, the the example here. A witch's fort has been reduced to B from B five to B three. Mm-hmm. Um, she takes the B four wound. If, if drop if it drop two below zero, then the damage would be B eight on the PGGS. Oh, so it's not always gray damage. Okay. No, it wouldn't be. Um, equal to the obstacle of the spell in pips. Um, so let's this see. Is Let me look. So in other words, none of this so stuff you would because take, he's passed out. You would take a B9 wound. <laughs> oh my gosh. Does that kill you? What's your immortal wound? Uh, uh, it's, no, he gets a traumatic wound. Oh my gosh. Huh. Ah. <laughs> Jeez. So this is the thing. Every time he's rolled on these hard things so far, he's rolled a one and gotten out his perception. Mm-hmm. And so See, you got cocky. <laughs> Not only that, but this is like the third character that's been like, oh, horrible mutation? Nah. And that's never been a problem for him until now. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, you're, so, you're, so uh, uh, Jared, your, your speed drops to zero, which means you you instantly just don't have any movement anymore. You're still awake. You're, you're conscious. Mm-hmm. Um, but... Well, I, I mean, until you until you get the wound, you until you get the wound. Uh, no, only if it if um if you get uh your mental attribute drop to zero. Um, otherwise, so you're you're he's in before he gets the wound, like the moment before he gets the wound, he he like basically goes into like a coma in terms of like not being able to move, but he's, well, he's still like paralyzed. Right? He's paralyzed. Basically. Yeah. Um, and but then you get the B nine wound, and I think that's four dice. So yeah, you go unconscious. Or no, I don't. Wait, what do you have for will? No, I you don't. You you back. don't go unconscious still. Um, so no, you you are just conscious. paralyzed. All of your other stats, except for agility, get dropped below zero. But your will is at one, and your perception is at two. So you're still well, conscious. You're just paralyzed. <laughs> Wait, where are all my stats zero? Um, because, because you got you a, wound. a wound that drops them. You get four uh... wound dice. Okay. Right, so well, you got a, you got a traumatic wound, so you have four wound dice, um, <laughs> which means you're, you're paralyzed. So, so you, I mean, tell me what happens, Siegfried. You, you your body just goes completely limp. You're just paralyzed. You're still conscious, though. Can I can I talk? <laughs> uh, no. What? <laughs> then what do you mean? What do you do? <laughs> I mean, what is it? What is it? <laughs> what is on Siegfried's mind? Uh, right. What is his thought process? Is this happening? What do you think? Because that's <laughs> all you're that capable hurt. of. <laughs> Right, but then, like, what does it look like? What can what? I do? So Nothing. you do the magic, right? Like, you do the magic. You 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 mm-hmm. wave your hand over this and and like seal up the wounds and then try to like craft a soul into this person. And then the weight of that spell just like like bat, uh, barrels down on you and you just like be you're just paralyzed. Uh, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just like drop over. Ludwig is like, um, uh, Siegfried, what 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 just happened? Um, and then the zombie comes to life <laughs> and literally, oh right. So you, you see the, you see right. the guard, it's, it is head. So right. Like he got stabbed in the neck. Um, but it's his head just like jerks 
and like starts just stares at Ludwitta, and she doesn't notice it at first, and she's like looking at you, Siegfried, and like what what what's happening? What what, what what's going on? And then he, it just starts to like rise. And it makes that noise, right? Like where it's totally World War Z zombie style in in the way it acts, and then it just like lunges at Ludwitta. Um, and then David comes. Yeah, I mean, literally, right, Casper? Oh, yeah, you, let you, me just roll my two swords. You open the door and look, like, as soon as you round the corner, right, and, and look down the hallway, you see Ludwitta be attacked by your Marasi. I mean, I have no idea who Ludwitta is, right? Yeah, you don't, I don't think you know who Ludwitta is, but you but see, I also you see, see Siegfried, Siegfried on the being ground. like, right? No, he's like, he's like on the ground. Oh, okay. Well, I probably just assumed that she killed him, so... Um, oh no! Where's uh? I, I said I brought a Marasi with me, right? Yes, yes. You have your Marasi okay. there. Um, Kasim yeah. is probably next to you. Um, okay. And Gwyn, yeah, obviously, I, and then Cantarius. Uh, yeah, I think I told him not, to make sure no one got away. Mm. Okay, so yeah, so Kasim's doing something else, yeah. but yeah, so so, so yeah, it's probably there. Gwyn and just a random Marasi. Um, uh, and Cantarius is there, right? Correct. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kantarius. Yeah. Sorry, I just killed um, it in my mic. That's right. Yeah, so, uh, Kantarius, uh, I mean, you also see this. Like, I mean, what does everybody do? You just turned my witness into a zombie. I yeah. hate... <laughs> well, I mean, I see my Marasi attacking somebody, so I look at you like he doesn't look very dead. And <laughs> then... This is, this is so that. fantastic. Like... I'm like, he doesn't look very dead. And then I draw my sword so that other people get the idea that they should go do the fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so let's let's go ahead and roll a um... initiative. Uh, okay, so actually, I'm gonna roll for Ludwitta against the the guard because um, that's gonna happen mm -hmm. before anyone can get there. And then after that, I'm just gonna say that you guys can just murder the dude because, like, I mean, you can do whatever you want, right? Like, the, uh, I don't think there's. I mean, much we're not chance. attacking the dude. Right, exactly, right? Like, you, uh, that's why I meant. That's why I oh. corrected myself. Um, oh, okay, right. Sorry. But because there's nothing that Ludwitta or the guard could do against a giant horde of. Marasi, I mean, I'm sure right? you're going so... to see that he's like a <laughs> not a person. Well, I mean, is the knife still in his neck? <laughs> no. No. No, okay. Then there's no reason for me to like. I can't tell, right? He, he looks really pale, but I mean, it's still from a distance away. But okay, the is thing he is, he, he doesn't like... have a sword. He, he doesn't have a sword on him. He's not using a weapon. He's literally just lunging at this woman, um, and right. he he's going to bite her neck. That's what that's. What okay, well that might. Well, yeah. I mean, have I ever seen a zombie? I might just think nope. he's just losing. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll roll. I'll roll for them and okay. just see like how that goes down. Um. Uh, so that's that's the Marasi. Um, and I don't think she has a yeah she doesn't have a a stat or a, a thing she can do against that. So she's just gonna roll power. Um, I mean technically I think she's gonna roll speed to just run away. Um, she's not gonna try to fight it. And so it's obvious for her because she has to get double the success because she's not using a skill. Oh, but she succeeds. So basically what happens, right, the guy lunges for her, but she, like, dodges out of the way and then just, like, runs. Um, but, she, like, she runs towards you um, because that's the direction that she was going um, and the direction okay. that the, the guy, like, jumped at her from the direction they came from, so the way to run would be behind her. Um, okay. So she just turns and runs, and this, this Marasi is, like, rah, like, coming after her. Is it making that noise? Oh yeah, no yeah, it's it's weird sounding. Okay, well yeah, I mean I, I had my sword pointed at her, and then I hear that, and I'm like, uh... <laughs> and I look at Gantaris, and I'm like, what is what is this? Uh, she, what I it's thought. I'm like, what did you do? But... <laughs> yeah, also, there's no. I thought he was dead. I am so sorry. <laughs> um. Ludwitta's like, 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 so, so Ludwitta sees you, and I think she sees you, Cantarius, and she, and, and she knows that she can say something to you, and you'll probably understand, and she says, Siegfried did something wrong! He... <laughs> <laughs> That's all she says, and she just runs. <laughs> but she's looking at um, you, Cantarius. Is she still yeah. running towards us? Yeah. And, and the, the thing's chasing her, so. I mean, yeah. what, what am I supposed to do? It's only a matter of, like, seconds before she's gonna, like, crash into you guys, and the, the the zombie's gonna attack you. Right, yeah. So I think I I gesture to 
or yeah, I look at Gwen and gesture towards the woman. I'm like, don't let her go anywhere. And then I look at the Rossi and I'm like, or uh, the zombie. I say, stand down, soldier. And then I'm like, uh, <laughs> waiting for him to not stand down because he looks crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and he definitely doesn't. Um, right. So do you guys just murder him or? I mean, I'm I mean, I'm getting ready to. But... I'm not going to do anything. Yeah. I'm f- I I'm not going to take any action in this because I'm already in a mess. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think I try again, and when he doesn't, I pick. You know, I look over to the Marasi next to me, and I'm like, you know, all right, it's not right, listening. Right. So, so Ludwitta Ludwitta crashes into you, Cantarius. Um, she just runs straight to you. She's terrified. And then the the Mar- the Marasi is right behind her. I, I mean, I do, just do you do anything? The woman. I, I mean, I do, I'm not going to kill the guy because if I kill yeah. this guy now, it, it'll look bad. So comfort her. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to protect her from the thing. Sure. Okay. I mean, in, in what way? Like, are you just That's like, like just to like shield her from it? Uh. At risk to your own own body. I mean, like, I mean, no, pull her away. Okay, so pull her away. Um, make a speed yeah. test then. Okay. All you have to do is beat that, or you have to beat a two. It's obstacle two. I mean, if it gets if he gets close enough without listening to me, being telling him to stop, then I'm I'm gonna have the Marasi attack him. Sure. So, yeah, like, I don't know. I just I just want to see. Yeah. So so basically, yeah, what happens, right? Right. right? Cantarius, you you just grab Ludwetta and like keep you keep going down the hallway with her, right? And then right. the Marasi just the other Marasi just like go all over the guy and, and so are you are you telling them to like kill it or like I mean yeah it? basically I told him to stand down he ignored me so at this point <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know so so much we can do in a couple seconds so yeah I mean I basically was just like yeah take him out or whatever yeah right and so yeah the Marasi just like pile drive the guy and then just stab him a bunch of times and um it doesn't bleed um interesting like I mean obviously there's blood still in him and but you know but it's not like coming out like a normal um uh what's the word uh person no i was trying to think of something system what's the what's the circulatory yes thank you circulatory system um yeah it's not like squirting out like it like it should it's just like like puddling so and then it just it just kind of like twitches a bit after like it's you have to like sever it's like one of i think one of the soldiers eventually just like cuts off its head um, and, uh, yeah, it just falls still after that. Yeah, so I, I think I turned back to Cantarius, and I'm like, so he wasn't like this when you left? <laughs> no, I promise you. And you see, right, like, the the, the neck wound was healed. Like, the, it wasn't, like, when you when you saw, like, when the soldiers were attacking this thing, there was no neck wound, um, at all, right? I, did, I didn't actually see the neck wound heal, though, right? I just didn't see a neck wound. Yeah, you just didn't see a neck wound. Okay. Is Wait, there enough what, left of him for me to... He didn't analyze the body before he healed it? No, I, I didn't heal it. He's saying... No, uh, Jared. Yeah, yeah no, but he's paralyzed. C3 healed the neck wound. Right. Before yeah. you got Right, the... you didn't... Oh. And Siegfried yeah. is now, un- and now a paralyzed. So he can't and communicate can't that. <laughs> yeah. Um... This is great. <laughs> then yeah, I mean, okay. So when I say that, does does Ludwitta say anything? Um, that's a good question. Um, wait, what, what do you say? Sorry. I I asked Cantarius if he was like that when he left him, and he said no. Right. right. Um, <clears throat> I mean, Ludwitta's like scared out of her mind right now, but I think she like comp- after like a few seconds just composes herself after like breathing heavily, and she says, "Siegfried." tried to do some experiment on the body we were coming to see what was the commotion about um and he something went wrong siegfried passed out and th- that thing came alive i don't think it was a person really so yeah. he was dead before we got here Bo- yes he was dead he had, a, he had a, his neck was bleeding i just i just like i i visibly like <sighs> relax yeah like, like oh my goodness i thought i was maybe going insane or something <laughs> yeah yeah so i think i just grabbed him like you've got to be kidding me and i'm like what's <laughs> wrong with him and i point over him and start stalking over towards um, where he's laying magic i i think sometimes when you do something too too much for your body you, you 
I mean, does she know that I use my soul? That I able no, to use my but, soul. I mean, there are other there are other magic um systems that that I mean, and using magic in any capacity does drain you. Um, and, and so okay. maybe she just thought it like, um, but yeah, I mean, this is not normal. She's never experienced something like this for sure, right? And she mm-hmm. doesn't know anything about your specific magic system. But she's just like, you know, sometimes. Uh, wizards are drained by their uh, magic. I I think Siegfried's been putting himself too, through too much, uh, not getting enough sleep or something. He's just out. Yeah, I, I'm and just grumbling like, like, all, all the time. One liners I could make right now. Oh, also, so uh, from <laughs> so around bad. from around the corner, um, because they they scurried off when when the when Siegfried passed out and the thing happened. But you see. Uh, you see uh, two meerkats, one with little boots and one with uh, a scarf, and then uh, you see a, a solid gold meerkat, and they just kind of like go over to Siegfried and are like poking at him, and like uh, Pookie is like looking at his eyelids, <laughs> yeah, like, waving so in front of his face. I think I'm like stalking towards him, and then the gold gold one shows up, and my eyes lock onto it, and I'm yeah. like, what is what is that? And then I just I walk towards it, like totally ignoring Siegfried at this point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just go over to it and like kneel down next to it, and I'm just like, yeah. He looks up at you, and he just like, he waves. Yeah, I just get closer, and I'm like staring at it, and I held my hand out towards it, like palm up to like hold it. Yeah, he like scurries up your arm, and goes up your on your shoulder. Yeah, and then yeah, I I like I like pick it up off my shoulder, look at it, and I'm like it's. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I'm just, I'm probably just staring at it. Like, yeah, and so yeah, the other Marathi are like looking around and like trying to make sure there's nothing else like this, right? And like checking, checking the corners and stuff. Um, and, and Gwyn like comes over to you and she's like, what, what in the world is that? Yeah. Uh, I think he just says something under his breath that she probably doesn't catch. Like it's, you know, perfect perfection or something like that. And yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, so then I, I managed to break away after she says that and I set it down and, uh, I look over at Ludo and I'm like, uh, wake, wake him up. And then I, I move over to Siegfried and try and like, you know, I like yeah, tap his sure. face, like and wake so, up. So Ludwetta realizes that like Cantarius, you're like still holding her arm. Um, and she like looks down and like, just kind of like shrugs away from you. Um, and then goes over to like, um kneel down to Siegfried and like look at his look at his eyes and like you know look at his face and he's like well his eyes are still open and like you can still move your eyes Siegfried that's like the only thing you can do oh so when I tap your face can I, can I blink eyes? in Morse code <laughs> no you can't blink you can just move your eyelids or your eyeballs uh, oh that's gonna get painful yeah <laughs> crap <laughs> yeah your, eye, your eyes are starting to water um can I spell out words with my eyes? <laughs> no. I mean, I'm not going to pick up on that. No one knows do. Morse code. Oh, uh, I don't know what to do. I mean, I can't really do anything. Do I? Can I, can I heal myself? No. Can, I, can, I, can I throw more, more fire? Um, no. Okay, so we established <laughs> that some of the wives have magic. Do any of them have restorative abilities? Uh, make a circle test. Okay. That's the best. I finally have a character that's halfway decent at this. Wait, no, I don't. Darn, I'm three. Okay. <laughs> I mean, um, that is halfway decent. I guess. It's just not decent. <laughs> yeah. Don't um, you have a whole bunch of, uh, like, oh, reputations? No, what it is is that I'm a moron and I'm looking at the wrong sheet. Okay. Uh, <laughs> four. That's a little better. Okay. Um, And then I assume I get to use the Bloodwise affiliation as yeah. a thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Do I get to use anything else? Can I use my reputation? Or no, I can only use one, right? And you can use either a reputation or, or I mean, I'm sorry, one reputation and one affiliation. So can I use the gold vein? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I can't fork in skills, so. Um, how much you can make I a loot test if you have a relevant wise. Uh, what's the difficulty going to be? For wises? Oh, for, uh, no, no for, for the for the circles. Yeah, I don't think uh, I I'm looking wise. it up right, right now. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, let's see. I mean, this is also a blood relation. That doesn't. I assume that makes. Or not a blood relation, a marriage relation. I assume that makes it um, easier, right? Ob- or is this for me to have found her originally? Um, ob five. Um, and this is this is for oh, this is for her being here right now. And oh. I, like, because that's the thing. You still have other wives that are like off doing right. other things, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> um. 
Okay, then we'll just see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, do you have any like relevant wises that you might be able to roll on? No, I don't think so. Bandit wise and currency wise and grift wise and merchant wise and lord wise. Literally none of those are useful. Yeah, probably not. Oh look, I failed, but I guessed. But I got a couple sixes. I only need one, so I'm gonna spend a fate on that. There you go. Uh, don't Connor it. Don't do it. <laughs> I mean, I'll do my best not to. Guys, I'm not that bad. Come on. <laughs> you really are, though, Connor. I got, I got one. Oh, there, there you go. There you go. Cool. Yeah, so you can just like call over one of your wives, right? And um. Yeah, so I look over at Gwen and I'm like, call the Nagi. Uh, yeah, that. <laughs> call Nagi. Uh, I. I think he's still conscious. <laughs> yeah, so so Nagi comes over, um, and this is um I think uh I think this is a person of a different race than, than you. What mm -hmm. race is it? Oh I don't know, what are the races? <laughs> uh I mean if you choose a, like a normal uh, like any human culture, there's probably a okay. analog. Um let's go with uh Italian, like Roman or whatever. <clears throat> okay, yeah, so you have you know, it's a it's a uh, a Garrick, you know, um, Reganian. Um, and, uh, yeah, so she has, you know, light skin, and then she, she comes over, um, or, like, olive skin, I guess. Um, she comes over, um, and, uh, uh, kneels down next to Siegfried, um, and, and, like, everyone is, like, checking your eyes, Siegfried. That's, like, what everybody's doing is, like, looking, looking in your eyes. Um, and it's, like, hurting every time. Um, but, uh, yeah, she says, huh, I haven't seen anything like this before. This is strange. It's just like his body gave out at him, but he's still conscious. He's see his eyes are moving. He he can hear what we're saying right now. He just can't move. Um, I think I I put my hand on his shoulder. Like I'm sorry to ask you this already. I no, of course not. Not a problem. Are you able to restore him? I can certainly try. Um, and I think she is a like normal like Reganian um like um word mage. Um, and so she she grabs out like a scroll, right, and starts like writing these like intricate intricate lines and this calligraphy. Um, and so she's gonna go ahead and make a calligraphy test. Do I do I still have my mind link with Pookie? Um, up three. Hey. Yep. So she succeeded. Um, yeah, so she, you know, make, makes a big, uh, scroll. Uh, you, you do, actually. Um, yes, you can have, you can see through Poopy's eyes. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have him go into my pouch and then write out a note. <laughs> uh, Pookie does not have the ability to write. <laughs> that is, turns out that's also a skill. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> and reading is a separate skill, so if you got one. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah and then i'll have her roll um so basically what she's doing right is like normal like treatment roll here um to stop the bleeding basically mm -hmm. um or no not to stop the bleeding she doesn't need to do that um she just needs to treat it um so that if if this exceeds his dice will go down and then he'll start to recover um, all right, so this is a traumatic wound. She's using magic, so it's going to be an Can, ob five. Um, what's her face helper? Ludwetta? Ludwetta? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Magical. Yep. I don't know who she is, though, so I might resist I think, her. No, I think Ludwetta, but... yeah, Ludwetta offers, right? She just sits, uh, like, kneels down and, like, starts helping the lady, um, giving yeah. pointers and stuff. Um, yeah, and I think when she does that, I, I cock my eyebrow at her, and I'm like, and who are you? And she says... I'm Siegfried's apprentice, and then she just goes looks back down. <laughs> yeah, I just I cock my eyebrow again, and I just shake my head like since since when, <laughs> and then just let her do her thing. Um, and she I think she looks back up and she says, "Can I have a pay raise for this?" <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I I'm just like it sounds like you have to ask Siegfried Siegfried. No, right, like about just that. give give Siegfried a pay raise. I get some of his stuff. 50-50. I don't pay him coin. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, well, I mean, when you do pay him. Just more, maybe? More for <laughs> being paralyzed on my doorstep? Why, why no, does he deserve for a me for helping to get him unparalyzed. To heal your boss, who is going to get you paid. Listen, just fix Siegfried. <laughs> <laughs> or you're not going to be getting paid at all. <laughs> she looks like she's going to try to argue in the end, and then she just, like, shuts her mouth and then just 
I want to make an aggro roll to get her to pay me at the end of this. For free, don't do it. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I'll apply yeah, uh, on this roll. I want to make a hagger roll to get her to pay me when she's done. <laughs> hey, oh, that was a go. really good roll. Yeah. Um, wow. There we go, Nagi. There we yeah. go. So, yeah, so Nagi just, um, she, right, she she just, say, uh, you know, like basically says the words that are on the scroll. Um, and as she Save does, the they just they just start like disappearing from the scroll, right, like fading away. Oh, cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then Siegfried just uh, gets treated. Um, and so in this case, let's see, when you treat this traumatic wound... Um, and now you have to make a, a, a five health test, Siegfried. Me? Yep. For what? <laughs> uh, I mean, to recover, you have to make a health test. Oh, so this uh, this allows recovery to happen. Mm -hmm. um, um, let's see. So if I fail this, do I get nothing? Um, or... If you fail it... Can they use magic to help him? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she gets an advantage die from from this, oh. the the magic. Oh, cool. Um, I'm not sure what happens if you fail. <laughs> One advantage die. <laughs> What's your health secret? I mean, it's five, but. <laughs> uh, well, you got Arthur like out the uh, rear end. Don't failed you? recovery for traumatic um, wounds. I have two right now. Um, well, the, fate, right? the character heals in the full length of time required, but only recovers half of the dice lost. The remaining dice are permanently subtracted from an appropriate stat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if that stat happens to re be reduced to zero, the character is permanently comatose. Oh my gosh. But that won't happen because... You, so basically, the, the worst that can happen is you will lose two dice permanently from your speed. Dude. So you'll be hey, like... you be crippled, buddy. Right? Yeah, exactly. That sucks! <laughs> it does. Hey, it's just karma, okay? Oh. You, you were the one who decided to do an OV9 yeah. <laughs> sorcery test. Uh, I wanted to heal him. <laughs> can I force For anything or no? Um, I know you can do something with health. Um, oh, boy. At least I feel you can. I know you get an advantage die from the, the treatment. Um... Is it one per over the the goal they get? Because goal was five, wasn't it? Or was it six? Uh, yeah, it I'm, I'm. It's it's five. I'll I'll let you get two oh, okay. advantage dice. That's fine. Okay. I just couldn't remember if that was how that worked. I don't think that's how that works, but I'm I'm fine doing. Oh. That. Okay. I think it's just one. Um. Mm -hmm. But let's see. I don't. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can. F I know. I know you can fork skills into it. Um. I mean, there's probably not really much you can do. Yeah, I think you just have to make it straight. You can, of course, spend Persona, though. Maybe he could fork Anatomy in to, like, know where to not put pressure and that kind of stuff and while he's recovering. I mean, and so this is this is in this moment, right? Like, oh. Oh, I, oh, okay. So it's basically the treatment of that magic allows him to make the test, but then he has to make the test, and then, then the recovery starts after that point. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Can I... Well, I'm, I'm still fully, you know, aware. Can I roll yep. magic as well to help them to get another advantage dice on my health? I mean, Don't given, fail this roll too. given that <laughs> your, your your magic focus is just your own body, you can, okay. but it's going to go very badly for you if you fail this. Um, so your intent is basically to like, yeah, help, help, help this along. Um, I don't know if I want to do that. And that's the thing, right? Because like, if you roll, if you roll anything but your perception, mm -hmm. like bad stuff is gonna happen. Um, yeah, probably you, don't want to do that. You might, I'm not you, do that. Yeah, you, you, you I, I'm gonna say like you probably just advance it to a mortal wound instead of a instead of. My my mortal wound is nine. I got this. I mean, your mortal wound is ten. But... Oh, it is. Yeah, because you got a B nine wound and it's traumatic, so. Never mind. All right. Uh, okay. So I have I got two for for them helping, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna spend my two persona. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Well, don't spend both of them because then if you die, you can't survive. Well, I'm not gonna die. What? No, I don't mean now. I mean at any point before you get another persona. Well, I'm gonna get persona at the end of this. It's true. Yeah. True. You only have two That's persona. Fine. Oh yeah. 
I spent a lot last time. It's true. Yeah. yeah all right. So D four. Oh wait, sorry. So two. And then. And make sure you um, put that on your health then. Yeah. All right. Can I can I do uh? Can I get a four gram astrology? <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, well. I'm pretty sure astrology is allowed to be forked into literally any test. As far I mean, as you know. it's suppo I think it's, it's forked into any skill. I'll, I'll double check this. The, oh, that, I'll that double check sure. astrology. Yeah. But uh, I'm kind of fine with you forking astrology because I think that's kind of fun. Um, <laughs> and I mean, if I, if I need the astrology kit, I'll have Pookie bring it out and throw the bones. So it, it does say any <laughs> skill. I, understand. I just need to see it. <laughs> it does say any skill, but I am willing to let you do it because of okay. how fun it is. So you see Pookie go into my pouch and then grab out my astrology kit. Yeah. And then he just like throws a bunch of bones onto it and is looking mm -hmm, at it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, absolutely. That's so cool. All right. Come on. No! <laughs> Wait. No sixes. Oh, but you have the astrology uh, die, the man. Astrology. Oh, yeah. It's all, all comes right. down to this. You can do it. 50-50 chance. Oh, oh no! <laughs> it, 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 and you have to reroll because it will take away a success. Oh no! Well, that doesn't matter, does it? You still fail. I mean, yeah, but it's, it'd be funny it, to see how many die. how many die he. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Give it the last roll. Yeah. So, so that. Wait, can I, can I use a fate to reroll my astrology? Or no? No. I mean, I think this was a bad roll, so, like, that was to see yeah, if it yeah. went bad again, so. Jared, did you actually just die? No. No? No, he didn't he's die. Gonna he's gonna, gonna, he's gonna have permanent stat damage now. Ugh. Gosh darn it. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of what you get. I yep. <laughs> That's what you get when you your heart uh, You knew this was gonna happen eventually. You you did this with another character in another RPG. And no, he's done this with, like, three characters. <laughs> Let's, let's reminisce no. at, uh, yeah. at the times that Jared has done this. Um, what, what are some yeah. other times? I'm, I'm thinking of Jembe, right? Like his there his, was the, yeah. his there risk was the... when he was like, I'm going to turn on y'all and <laughs> become a demon. There was his world hopper physical discipline character in... Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then that... I think he had another physical discipline character somewhere else. My other physical discipline character was awesome. He didn't fail once. It's true. You never failed. That was the point. You finally failed. <laughs> that was the thing, characters. right? Didn't we say that like if he if he failed, like he had to make a a, a physique test every time he tried to yeah, permanently failed, increase like, stat, and if he failed, he literally related. just died. <laughs> he never failed. <laughs> I always increased my stats. Yep. Every yep. <laughs> we should play that one again. <laughs> I, <like that. laughs> I mean, if we do, we'll have to do, we'll do it in Burning Wheel. Um, yeah, and then you'll probably die. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah Jeez. i mean we were playing right. Mist mistborn that time so i'm actually kind of surprised yeah. that he didn't mm -hmm. die given how true random that's that fair. system is but to be fair of all the stats you could have lost well i don't know maybe power would have been less bad yeah but... now you you are you will permanently have uh two speed after the end of this oh recovery. Gosh, so, so terrible so let's let's uh, let's see on anatomy and injury um what what this looks like so um Oh, you also reduce the cap of the depleted stat by one. Um, oh, okay. Which so... means... Uh, wait. Wait, what? Wait, uh... Okay, so it, normal people cap at eight. Oh. And so I it see. would cap to seven instead. Which is good, because oh. if it, I was thinking that, like, six was the cap for some reason, but it's not. I was going to say if six was the cap with, and it went yeah. down to five, that means you would never be able to completely unlock that stat and for the... For oh, the yeah. Uh, the other thing but as it is now you just added like a year or two to that <laughs> yeah um so it, how many t how much does it take you uh okay so roll jared roll um 1d6 plus one and if it if it's a seven then it's a six instead well it's a good thing um so yeah so that's a, that's a six um, so it takes, it's going to take you six months of rest, um, to heal oh. from this traumatic wound. Oh my god! Um, the first eye is recovered as soon as a, as a successful medical test is made. Um, so that Which means magic, you immediately right? go down from, yeah, you go from traumatic to, to serious, mini, right? which is yeah. three. Oh, serious. Um, unfortunately, you 
still are unconscious or you still can't move because your power and fort are three um and so you are literally going to be comatose now um for um let's see second night is recovered in one third of the healing time so in two months you will not be comatose <laughs> my word so is there any way for them to like administer healing to him over a period of time to accelerate that uh yes okay thank goodness now you can make a roll um to uh, decrease that healing time so let's let's have her roll she, back. uh roll to put my speed back to four uh, no <laughs> dude she's really good at this holy cow um okay. yeah i think that's enough to reduce it by one month um so it's gonna take five months instead um so that means one and a half months i guess um so I'm like, you know, 1.75 months, um, you'll regain, you'll, you'll not be comatose, but you are literally comatose. Like, you oh can't gosh. do anything for one and a half months. That's crazy. Um, well, we're going to have to have a time skip here. I mean, we can, right? Like, we can literally just time <laughs> skip here if you guys yeah. want to. Um, I mean, there's probably cool. some stuff to settle here, but then I think we probably could. Sure, yeah. Um, um, yeah. yeah, so Siegfried, you just, like, get put in bed and Nagi is just taking care of you now. Uh, you're conscious still. You can, you're aware of everything that happens, but you can't can he talk. Can blink at least now? So his um, eyes are out of I, Yeah, I, I'll say that you can talk now. Like, you can talk and, like, blink and all that stuff, but you just can't move. Like, you're literally paralyzed from, like, the neck, uh, from, like, the, yeah, the neck down. Um, as of right now, you have no feeling in, in any of those body parts. Um, yeah, so let me, let's go ahead and take our last break here, um, just real quick, and then we'll come back and... And finish it out and kind of wrap up some things and then we'll probably do a time skip. Uh, wow, so that happened. That went so bad. Oh my in. gosh. Uh, your luck ran out, Siegfried. Your luck <laughs> done ran out. All right, we'll be right back after these messages. 